my beauties and welcome back to your girl's channel and if you are new to my channel welcome if you are a returning subscriber you already know what's going on welcome back so for today i am going to be making my very own heaven wig but crochet heaven wig or i might use because i have different hair so i have braids i have crochet braids i have crochet um twists i have crochet butterfly locks but i am going to be attempting my very own heaven wig today for the first time ever and you guys are gonna watch me and follow through with me okay so i don't have a wig um a wig stand what is this i don't so I don't have a mannequin head stand to put the mannequin head on. Um, I did have one and I do have one actually, but it's not with me currently. So it's in Texas. Um, so right now I'm going to have to work with this. I did order another uh, mannequin head that should be in the mail tomorrow. And so I don't have to work with this styrofoam head anymore um i got the real deal coming tomorrow the next thing i need to do is just order a mannequin so for today's video though i will be using this styrofoam mannequin head i will be using um this wig cap this is a mesh weave cap the one with the holes in it and so i got this from my local beauty supply store it cost me 2 dollars i'm gonna open it up really quick so yes it's one of these and it comes with just one. I think that this will be good because it has that thick band on there. And that's perfect for like a headband wig. And the reason why I'm not crocheting this hair in my head is because I have dreads. And I do not want to destroy my dreads. So I tried crocheting um, dreads in my hair before. In a previous video, I'm going to put that one up here. And mm, I mean, some people can do it that way. But I'm going to protect the dreads. And I'm going to go ahead and do it this route. Okay? So... We got these two items and then of course we are going to need our crochet needle and then last but not least we need the hair so like i said in the beginning i believe that i want to do the twist so it's these little twists right here i think these are super cute so these are only 10 inches and so this is going to be a short wig which i think is going to be cute but yeah so let's just go ahead um and get this started i know my setup is kind of ghetto but y'all just bear with me and just know that if you don't have a mannequin wig stand that you could do it just like this okay there's a will there is a mud wait okay so you gotta make it work okay sometimes you just gotta improvise and just do what you got to do so this twist it has the little loop up there you guys can see that and then the rest of it is just twisted bouncy we want to go ahead and start in the back and just start crocheting So I'm just leaving just a little bit of space in between. You guys can see that. And then I don't want to fill in too much at the bottom. You know, I want to make sure I get all the hair in all around. And then if I see like any open spaces, then I'm going to go back and fill them in. Now these dreads then came with eight packs of hair. And then in each pack of hair, I believe 12 dreads came in each pack. And the good thing about this hair is that if I end up using all of this hair, I don't think that it's going to be heavy on my head because this hair is like super light. Alright y'all, so I'm all finished with this wig and I noticed that there was a lot of space hey, in this wig. Hey baby. Say hi. hi. I'm going to try it on at the end, but I decided that I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the rest of the hair that I have for this pack of hair as well as this one. And then I'll be back. I also got my mannequin head that came in and so I'm no longer using that styrofoam head. I just need to get another stand for my mannequin head. I'm definitely going to use this instead of having to hold the mannequin head in my lap. I'm going to use this. I'm attached to this table and we're going to go ahead and get to work.
All right, so this is after the first pack of hair. I really hope that this time that I'm doing it differently and that I'm looping more holes within the crochet needle that it fills up this entire head. So, and what I mean by looping more holes in the needle is I mean, like, I'm gonna show you. Instead of going through like maybe three, I'm taking like all of these, all of that, I'm looping all of that. And just because I know that this wig cap is super stretchy, I want to make sure that once I am done, a lot of gaps and a lot of spaces aren't in this wig. Here it is. Now I'm gonna put on a headband to see how that looks. There are some gaps still, but it's not really as noticeable when I have black hair with this black cap that I used. But there are some gaps. So yes, here is the first one. So that's cute or whatever. We can also like maybe put it in a small little ponytail at the top. Let's see how that works. I got a ponytail at the top. Now these are a great way to protect your hair. Even if you don't have dreads, you are someone who don't have dreads, but you just don't um, want to braid your own hair or don't want to crochet your own hair. This could be a great way to protect that hair. You're not pulling, braiding down your own hair, um, bringing any tension to your own hair. So this is great, but this is cute though. I don't know about y'all, but I'll wear something like this. And if you are about to go ahead and make you some headband wigs out of some crochet hair, then go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know because y'all, this is so convenient and it is a protective hairstyle so i hope you guys are going to do this because it'll save you some time too all right so time for the second one that i made now with this one this one is a little bit heavier it's not heavy but it's a little bit heavier and i feel it um kind of pulling back a little bit and slipping so i would if i was to just wear this like today i will go back and add like some clips to this just so that i can clip it and make sure that it stays in place you can also use some bark pins in the meantime and then like the other one you can see the spaces in this you can figure out ways to hide it if you want with this one you can do a ponytail at the top as well all right so here is this one and this one can kind of hide like the um the spaces that's on this wig
all right so now we're about to go ahead and try on the very last one and see how this looks because remember you guys i used a um a different net for this one now i wouldn't recommend using this hair cap because <laughs> the gaps in this one are wider it's not as strong it's not as strong at all the spaces are super wide on this one and i hate it i'm gonna see if i can finance it though like let me see what we can do probably just put all of this in the ponytail let's see this hairnet doesn't have a big um, band around the perimeter like the other two does. Like this one has a big band. That's why I want you guys to go ahead and make sure y'all get this one. See this one is like super thin. But we finna get it together. I'm about to go grab me some bow pins real quick and I'll be back. I gotta make sure I secure it in the front and in the back. So I'm just gonna take some bow pins and attach it to my black cap that I have up under here already. All right, y'all, I told you we was gonna work it out. We finessed it, okay? Can't nobody even tell. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Can't nobody tell that this is a wig, okay? You cannot tell at all, like, put it in a bun. Oh, yes, this is giving. What nobody even know? What nobody know? Like, what do you mean this is a wig? Girl, I got my hair done okay all right my beauties so that is it for today's video if you enjoyed my video make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up so make sure you guys are subscribed if you haven't subscribed already and make sure you go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on another upload and i will see you all on the next video